Hey everyone, for Rob Gelia has just arrived to Goa and we along with the youth are so excited to welcome him. I like doing really heavy weight because it helps me build my strength and it helps me challenge myself always to feel like I, I can be stronger. I am so excited to be here in Goa. It's my first time in Goa, but even the welcome, the people, the excitement in the air is getting me so, so ready and excited for, for this concert on Saturday night. Today we got to meet His Eminence, the Cardinal of Goa. And this afternoon we have a Mass, a Mass of Our Lady, on the Feast of Our Lady, her birthday. It's a, a privilege always to meet such wonderful people of influence, people who have worked so hard to love and to serve the Lord. He's all well by the beauty of all that you are now and my life is changed forever so Jesus, you know, I want to, I want to tell people about Jesus. What a wonderful, itinerant preacher of the Lord you are. And what a wonderful brand ambassadors you all are. the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your mercy and love. We thank you that you give us your blessing. We thank you that you are the one who is our strength and our choice. We're here in Goa about to give our concert to four, five, six thousand people. I don't even know. But at the end of the day, let's understand that it's about Jesus. We want to point to him, glorify him, that hearts might be changed, that lives might be renewed. The world doesn't need Father Robs, it needs Jesus. Forward to having a great evening with Father Rob. And uh, I've uh, been following him for many years now. Uh, it started in the pandemic and uh, uh, it's going to be a great night, I'm sure of it. He really pulls you towards God. And he's made my faith even stronger, and I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I'll continue to be stronger in my faith, and I'll continue uh, following Father Rob. Father Rob Gale's music concert was absolutely a blast. I had a wonderful time, as it was my first time at a concert, and I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I'm not perfect. I'm pretty messed up, just like you are before you judge me. You're pretty messed up too. But... You know what the amazing thing is that I'm in love with Jesus. I love Jesus with all of my heart. I'm not worthy of his love. I don't deserve his love, but I love him. I love him because he loves me first. But I'll say this to you, death and suffering are not the worst thing. They're not the ultimate evil. The ultimate evil is being separated from God. Spending time being formed and conformed into Jesus, knowing Him so well, so intimately that our decisions, even when we don't think about them, are formed on the heart of Jesus. 
Jesus is the one who will draw you to the fullness of joy. No concert, no events can give you what Jesus can.